Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video and in this video where I'm going to be reviewing the uh, third episode of um, Echo which is called uh, Talko, Tok Lo and Tok Lo is the ancestor that we see towards the beginning of the, the um, episode where like her father was part of this Indian tribe's police force and she wanted to be part of it, but she couldn't because she's a woman and um, women are supposed to be life givers, whereas men are supposed to be life takers in their society, I guess. Um, and essentially that just shows that, okay, she, that woman has the special powers that Echo has that we keep seeing these flashbacks to these women have. Um, and essentially, like, she, like, there's this, like, trap that her father gets, and her, his rangers gets in. They're overpowered. The ancestor, Tuklo, she comes in. Luke Skywalker is, uh, Luke Skywalker it. I say Luke Skywalker because, like, Mandalorian season two, Luke Skywalker came in a little, when everything seemed to be bleak. That's what this girl did. She pretty much... Came in, rescued her father, like a badass. This shows something female centric, but anyways, um. So long story short, like Maya is still in Oklahoma, and uh, so she um. This is one guy that shines shoes at her cousin's uh, bowling alley ring. I'm guessing that's her cousin. And um, you can even tell when he was introduced in the last episode that he was, or was in the first episode where he was introduced. Anyways, when he was introduced, he was uh, not a very morally good person. And so, like, in this episode, it shows. Because there's a bounty on uh, Maya's head. And he takes it, kidnaps Maya, kidnaps um, her cousin Maggie, I think is her name. Um, and there's this um, fight scene that takes place in... Um, And the bowling alley. And I get that it's supposed to look Echo look cool. I'm calling her Echo. Her name's Smile. But. I get that she. Uh. Uh. Um. That was trying to make her look cool. And all. But um. Like. And I admit like. Sure, you can say that she looked badass in this fight scene. I'll give you guys that. But, like, there's this one part. Like, I can, like, take, um... What's it? Um... Suspension of belief. To, like, a certain extent in, like, sci these sci-fi films. And whatever. But there was one time when she got smashed, like... When there was glass smashed onto her face... How she didn't get any scratches or anything in her eyes is, like, beyond me. Like, she would have, at the very least, got a few scratches if she was going to get anything in her eyes. She would have got at least a few scratches on her face. It's like, okay, in this scene, I get what you guys are trying to go for. You guys had me with this scene. But that little part... Like, the frick, the folk. Like, I get this is a sci fi show, this is supposed to be a very comic book y type of show, but like, why wouldn't there be glass, like, at least, like, cutting her a little, at least a little bit? Like, that kind of, like, took me out of it. And I, like I said, I get what they were trying to do with that. 
I can't even respect what they were trying to do with that scene. Just, I don't know. And then Maya, uh, um, she sees that her cousin, her, uh, firefighter says cop cousin is in nature, so she gives herself soap. The people that were holding them captive, and we saw Maya fighting, they get called off. Um, Maya tells her cousin, her, uh, Ma Maggie, I think her name, go, we'll talk later. We see she talks to the cousin that owns the um, bowling alley. And the guy says, there's only one person who could call them off. And Maya says, I shot him in the eye. And so, like... Then, um... We essentially get this, like, long-ass... Like, this song ending bit like towards the end we get the song we see the cousin that's a, like firefighter um who's a public in, in the public service department she said the poor away from Maya never comes we see the um, grandmother's kind of like at church and she's just looking like she's pissed apparently pissed that she's sh shitting on herself or like she has explosive diarrhea and it got on her, like, underwear or something. I don't know. The look on her face was like, was a very uncomfortable look <laughs> from her. Like, she looked very, very uncomfortable. And then Maya returns to home. Oh, and the grandfather said that, yeah, me and your grandmother are not split, but we guys should probably talk. And Maya said, she doesn't want to talk to me. Go Fast forwarding back to the end of the episode. Um... I have a feeling that the grandmother and Maya will talk in the last episode. I don't think they will talk in the next episode. Anyways, um, what's the word? Um, Kingpin. Wilson Fisk is at her place. And we see, like, she's, like, Maya's a bit shocked and maybe a little bit scared. But I feel like it's more so shocked than scared. And correct me if I'm wrong if I, you guys seen the episode. But that's what my interpretation of it. Um. Anyways. That's the episode. Um. I, like I said, this, like, that fight scene at the uh, bowling alley. Or the skating ring or whatever. That fight, I'll make, I'll give them this. Like, even though I'm not that impressed with the show as of yet, um, that fight scene on the skating rink was, it got, like, sucked me in a little bit. Admittedly, like, I can see what they were trying to do, and sure, it was, admittedly, a pretty cool fight scene, sure, if you want to, like, try and be neutral and all this, but it was a like, decent fight scene, but, like, what, like, again, what took me out of it was, when she, like, Maya got, like, glass fall on her, she had no, like, um, injuries to her face, like, no glass in her eyes, no, like, glass, like, cutting her, like, cheeks or forehead, any part of her, like, skin on her, like, face or neck, like, that honestly did take me out of the fight. Granted, that was towards the end, but still. But, anyways. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Love you all, and I'll talk to you fellow mutants later. And let me know how you guys feel about this episode in the comment section down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. I will talk to you fellow mutants later. Stay awesome, my friends.